Welcome to July's Leco Challenge. Today's problem is climbing stairs. You are climbing a staircase. It takes n steps to reach to the top. Each time you could either climb one or two steps. How many distinct ways can you climb to the top? If there's two steps, we can get there in two ways. We can take one step, one step, or we can just take two steps. If there's three, there's going to be three ways uh, because we can go with one, 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 two, or two, one. It's a pretty classic problem. Uh, imagine that we had just just a list of how many stairs we can climb, right? So say that we can climb one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, these are the number of stairs. So how many ways are there to get to the first step? There's only one. You can only take one step to get there. What about two steps? Well, there's two ways, right? You can get to um, there by going one, one, or going one, two. So there's two ways. Now, what about three? Well, if we think about it, there's only two steps that we can come from to get to three. And that's going to be either two steps back or one step back. So we can just add these two to figure out how many different ways we could have gone there. Same with four. Just take these two and think about if we can add them. Those are going to be the total number of ways that we can get to the fourth step. And same with eight, same with here, 13, and so on and so forth. And very quickly you realize this is a Fibonacci sequence. Right, so how can we solve this? Um, pretty standard. First thing we want to do is uh, set, uh, make sure that we take care of the base cases. Uh, we could do it recursively. We can use memoization to save space, but or save time. Uh, but really, I don't think it's necessary to do any of that. Just do this intuitively. Realize that if n is less or equal to two steps, uh, we just return n itself, right? Because it's going to be zero, one, or two. So there we go. Um, Otherwise, we want to store, let's say, the previous step, previous one, and previous two. Uh, so a previous one, we'll say that's going to equal um, the first step, so previous two steps back. Maybe the naming's a little weird there, but uh, you get what I mean. And at current, we'll just start with zero and say for i in range of two to the n, what we're going to do is add previous one plus previous two. And now we're going to reset the previous um, one to equal previous two and previous two to now equal current. And that way it's going to go through this loop and we can just return current at the end. So let me make sure I and thinking about this correctly, so previous one, two, then we say uh, make previous one equal to previous two. Yeah, so I think that's right. Let's just go ahead, run that. Um, looks like it's working. Let's try for like seven. Uh, I don't know. So that looks like it's good. So let's go ahead and submit this. So there we go. Um, seemed pretty straightforward. This is, I guess, a DP solution, uh, but without any arrays. Now, there are different solutions to this. Uh, one way is to use the Fibonacci equation, and that looks something like this. Uh, if you want to use this, you could, but honestly, I don't really see how you're going to memorize this equation like unless you're a math wizard um yeah like this does work but uh you have to really be familiar with your math to get to like remember this uh there's also some other obscure algorithms that i'm not going to go into i uh, don't think it's really worth it could do this recursively but again it's not necessary so that concludes our july leco challenge um really thank you guys for those who have watched uh, this month Really appreciate it. I do think there's going to be an August challenge, so I will continue. So thanks for watching my channel. I really appreciate it. And remember, do not trust me. I know nothing.